Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Something very disturbing has happened today in Ireland, and you may have seen the story this morning. A teacher was being dragged through the courts because he refused to call a boy a girl and bow down to gender ideology and the nonsense of compelled speech. As a teacher, he was told uh, that if a boy says they're a girl, he has to acknowledge that they're a girl when clearly they're a boy and vice versa. If a girl uh, says they're a boy, they're not, they're a girl. But the teachers are supposed to um, adhere to all this transgender pronoun nonsense. And um, the teacher was suspended from his job uh, for not doing that, for calling a boy a boy. And uh, he went to work. But then the court has said... They put a court order on him to say, well, uh, if you go to work, uh, you will go to jail simply because uh, he called a boy a boy. What on earth is a court ruling that someone can't do their job if they don't hear to compelled speech uh, towards the nonsense of gender ideology, which is uh, from the pit of hell? and is complete nonsense. The last thing, the worst thing we can do for people who suffer with this delusion, uh, whether it's genuine gender dysphoria or whether it's just people who are being groomed into it, and there's a lot of that going on, uh, there's a lot of propaganda into transgenderism and this lifestyle um, going around schools. Ed, Enoch Burke here, he's the teacher, um, he is a hero of free speech, of what is right, of what is good, of what is sane, of what is sensible, of what is scientific. And he's saying, I am not going to pander to this nonsense. I'm going to call a boy a boy and a girl a girl, which is what any uh, sane adult should do. They shouldn't pander uh, to these delusions because most children who go through this, it's a phase and they grow out of it anyway. And no adult should be forced to tell a lie and to go along with deceit and delusion like this. So here's a teacher. He was told he can't go to work because of this. He went to work uh, and now the court has thrown him in jail simply for going to work after calling a boy a boy. This is something that should never, ever happen in a country which is sane. But I fear the West has gone completely insane with this transgender ideology. I've been speaking about this for years. I actually thought something like this might happen in the UK first. It's quite a surprise <coughs> that this happened in Ireland before it happened in the UK. <coughs> Ireland, which 20 years ago was a staunchly religious, Catholic, Christian society, which would never have entertained uh, anything of this insanity. Uh, you, you thought maybe you know, something in Scotland with the SNP would have like dragged someone through the courts for this first, but it's happened in Ireland. Um, but look, Enoch Burke, the teacher, I stand with you. I think millions of people will stand with you today and see this as an absolute travesty of justice and something that should never, ever happen and should never even have come close to the courts. You should never have, it should never have been in question that you would have lost your job or been disciplined simply for calling a boy a boy uh, and others who might call a girl a girl. Um, this needs to stop. We need to get a grip of this and uh, I hope that uh, you will not be in prison for long because it would be absolutely wicked uh, of a judge or the courts or anybody to put you or keep you in prison simply for doing telling the truth. And um, I hope that uh, everyone everywhere will take stock uh, of this hideous ideology and how deeply it's gone into the establishment in deep state and needs to be rooted out of our society right now.